Hey, welcome back to Root Letter. Uh, we're gonna head to the Sun and Chuo newspaper company. Wherever that is. There it is. I'm standing in front of the building where Sun and Chuo newspaper company is located. Looks like the reception desk is on the sixth floor. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm at the reception desk. There's a pretty receptionist. Excuse me. Hi, yes, may I help you? She looks exactly the same. <laughs> she has a cool gaze and a refreshing voice. How can I help you? Uh, let's ask about... About the boyfriend. About pamphlets. I came to get a brochure. Uh, this is the brochure. Please have one. The receptionist hands me a brochure from the counter. Thanks. I open the brochure and look it over. I heard there was an article about Arisa Sasaki and her mother, but I don't see it here. That was from last month. There should be still be some left. I'll go get one. Alright, thanks. Thank you. The receptionist goes into the back to get the brochure. She's nice and hot. Perfect combo. Man, we are thirsty. Uh, the receptionist comes back with the brochure. Here you are. Acquired uh, the brochure. I check the brochure. In it, there is a photo of Arisa Sasaki and her mother, Riko Sasaki, and an article. Arisa Sasaki is a member of the Usagi Children's Theatrical Company in Matsui City. Her local commercials for Shijimi uh, clams are gaining popularity for this rising child actress. Her mother Riko, uh, Riko previously worked as a pop star, <clears throat> but retired from the business upon marrying. She currently is a devoted stage mom helping her daughter Arisa to become a first-class actress. There's no doubt bitch is Arisa Sasaki's mother. Is that what you were looking for? It is, thanks. The receptionist sees me off with an elegant bow, and I leave the lobby. Okay, well now we know her name. Uh, bitch seems to be talkative. Uh, seems talkative, so she might just tell me. But it would be a good to have a prop to corner with. I'm pretty sure there's a knickknack shop in the Kiyomise shopping area. I'll go buy something there. Okay, what what will we buy? Kiyomise. There we go. <clears throat> I'm not the Kiyomise shopping area. In the small shop they have accessories, stuffed animals, toys, sundries, and other colorful knickknacks for sale. I use letters said that bitch doesn't like birds. Okay. Uh, here's a bird. I find the bird doll. A bird doll? I think I'll get this. Okay, all right. I'll try going to the theatrical, the theatrical company. Uh, let's go there. How do we know the where this is? Oh, uh, I've come to the Usagi Children's Theatrical Company. I can hear the kids practicing their acting. Yep. Looks like a dance studio. The children are practicing their acting. Arisa Sasaki from that uh, Shijimi commercial is also here. Riko Sasaki is also there, among the mothers watching from the back. The children take a break from their practice and go back to their parents. So that's a bitch. Uh, Arisa also goes to meet Riko. Arisa, what's wrong? I can't hear you. 
Sorry, I still haven't been able to get in character. Don't be such a baby. You don't play the character, you become the character. It's a little harsh on her. Well, she's a hardcore stage mom. Uh, I accidentally meet Rico's eyes. What is it? Crap, she saw me. Um... You must be Riko Sasaki. Are you a talent scout by any chance? No. Huh? Oh, well... For Arisa? Or could you mean me? This lady is so desperate. You're the one I have business with. M me? Oh, my god. Can we chat for a bit? Just a minute, please. A figure who seems to be the director of the theatrical company comes forward. They're about to get announce the casting for the next production. Man, this is not going to be good. Um, afterwards, the director of the theatrical company announced the casting. Rico's daughter was cast as none other than the lead. Congratulations, Arisa. Mom, I did it. They picked you as the lead, but don't let it go to your head. Focus on improving your acting. She's hardcore. Yes, Mom. Don't get uh, parts based on cuteness. Actresses called cute or beautiful aren't true actress actresses. Don't become an actress who gets parts that way. Mm. Mom, practice is starting. Arisa goes off to practice. Thank you for waiting. There's a place I go to a lot nearby. Let's talk there. Okay. Waterworks. Uh, it's a building with a chic roof made of exposed concrete. There's a sign that says Waterworks. It looks pretty cool. I've come to Waterworks. It seems like a popular local cafe. Rico and I step inside the cafe. The manager welcomes us with a friendly smile. The cafe has black wooden flooring and a stylish interior. Welcome. We'll be discussing important matters. So we'd like a corner seat, please. Whew, I need a drink of water. <clears throat> the two of us take a seat by the corner. A lemon tea for me. And for you? I'll have a coffee. Dramas, <laughs> movies, or modeling. I love this voice acting. Uh, I can start out as an extra. Only me getting scouted. I wonder if Arisa will be upset. This lady is almost delusional. I thought you'd pass your dreams onto your daughter. Do you still want to become an actress yourself? What? What do you mean? You're a bitch, aren't you? You're not a talent scout? Didn't one of your high school classmates contact you? You... What? I guess you figured out who I am. Uh, who are you? I have no idea. You really need to work on your acting skills. Shut up. I haven't heard a thing about you. You're seriously terrible. Look, I was pen pals with Ayafumino. 
In her letters, she wrote about Bitch's big weakness. What do you mean weakness? If I show it to her, I'm sure she'll admit to being Bitch. Okay. Do we have it in our inventory? Uh... Okay. Nothing to ask. Uh, as I suspected, she won a minute. Okay. Um... There we go. It's this. I take out the bird doll from the knickknack store. Bitch dislikes birds, and is even afraid of toy ones. How's this? I shove the bird doll in Rico's face. This is so stupid. Oh my god. This is so dumb. Uh, come on, let's hear the truth. You're a bitch, aren't you? If you tell me honestly, I'll put the bird doll away. She's acting? What? Rico grabs the bird doll and puts it on top of her head. <laughs> now you know I'm not bitch. Wait. I did a pretty good job acting scared, huh? Huh? That's odd. This one's on you. Rico finishes up the tea she ordered. Thanks. She walks off. She's a lot calmer. That's odd. Is she not bitch? Nah, she's definitely bitch. The manager comes over. Oh, did Miss Haneda leave already? I was with Miss Rico Sasaki just now. Oh right, Miss Sasaki. I've known her for so long, I still call her by her maiden name sometimes. Hanada is one of the names on the list. Her maiden name was Rico Hanada, huh? Wait, that name was... Yep. I look at the names I wrote down in the guidebook. Next to number 18 appears the name Rico Hanada. I'm certain she was one of Aya's classmates. But why wasn't she afraid of the bird doll? Is something the matter? You said you've known her for a long time, right? She's become a regular since her high school days. Did she used to be afraid of birds? Oh, that's right. She hated them back in the day, but I think she overcame it. Is that so? The women become strong once they have children. Whatever it is, their children become their first priority. And they can't afford to have any dislikes of their own. That's true. Before they realize it, they've overcome their dislikes. She had a child and grew from it, huh? Hey, if bitch came here a lot, I might have come at least once too. Alright. Show him the photo. Have you ever seen this woman? This photo is from 15 years ago, but... I show the photo of Aya to the manager. <laughs> Not that I can remember, sorry. It looks a little too young. Ah, uh, okay. I need more proof to corner bitch. Hmm, she used to work as a pop star, right? A good person to ask that about that would be that guy. Oh, uh, okay. I know where to go. We're going to, uh, ooh, we're going to the UFO research lab. Oh, right, it's in the other city. There we go. Come to the UFO research lab. When I knock on the door, Morita pokes his head out. I guess that's just how he does things. Hi, Mulder. Doesn't seem like he'll just let me in. There's no way around it. I'll show him it. 
is so stupid. I take out the rabbit figurine with the agate vase. Alright, good. I step inside the research lab. Uh, Sugari seems to be out at the moment, so it's just me and Morita. What do you want this time? Uh, Sugari isn't here. <clears throat> You're after her? She's rather headstrong, you know. No, I'm not after her. It's you I have business with. You... me? So you're that type. Could it be you purposely came when Sugari was out? Whoa, 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 hold on there. I have something I want to ask you about local pop stars. Oh, I see. Don't, don't scare me like that. What did he think I was here for? And why did he freak him out so much? What is it that you want to ask? We're gonna show him uh, the brochure. No, just ask him. Sasaki. It's about Arisa Sasaki's mother. Made a name Riko Haneda after graduating high school, joined a local talent agency. Sure, know a lot about her. Debuted as a pop star under the stage name Jorina Haneda. I have a valuable photo of her. Morita shows me the photo. She's pretty cute, isn't she? <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, not enough to be really become popular. Sounds like a tough business. She rebranded herself as Riko Mazaki and became an Enka singer. Uh, her debut song was Winter Scenery of Sanin. Never heard of it. You're not the only one. It didn't sell. This is the CD. Monita takes out Rieko Misaki's CD, Winter Serio Sanin. So that's why she gave up show business. Actually, she uh, rebranded herself yet again and tried her hand at pinups under the name Rico. Whoa. Sorry, a little burpy. Uh, ouch. It really was painful, but the fanboys loved it. She even got to be the poster girl for uh, Megatama Beer. There's a poster of her in a bathing suit? There is, <laughs> but I couldn't get a hold of it. It's the biggest blender of my life, is it? Is it really? Could you lend me the photo and CD? I could, but not for free. Is there something you want? Well, um... It seems Morita is having trouble deciding. I'll try dis uh, suggesting something. Okay. You want a bird doll? No. Oh, her autograph. <clears throat> How about I bring you Arisa Sasaki's autograph? I have that. Riko's autograph would be nice though. Huh? I was a secret fan. She wasn't popular, so uh, I was too embarrassed to ask for her autograph. I want her to autograph my photo of her. She's an ordinary housewife now. I know. Wait. I know. I'll bring you back an autograph, so could you please lend them to me? I'm counting on you. 
This is serious business. Uh, he lets me borrow the photo and CD. I'm a busy man. I'll be returning to my obs observations now. Morita takes his seat by a strange machine and becomes still. I have an idea how I can get a hold of the poster. I'm not hungry, but I'll head over there anyway. Alright. Let's go to Kamiarian. I've arrived at Kamiarian. Welcome. Oh, did you forget something? Uh, the poster. You were saying you collect Magatama beer posters, right? I do. Do you have one of Rico? That's super geek level, man. Is it that hardcore? In the history of Magatama Bear's poster girls, Miss Uriko was the most extreme. What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean by extreme? Could I uh, borrow it? That's all right, but please don't use it for anything funny. If all goes well, I'll get you her autograph on that poster. <laughs> Please don't do that. The value of the poster will go down. I can lend it to you, but please don't get it autographed or anything. Alright. Sanpei brings out the poster of Rico. Rico, in a daringly high-cut swimsuit, is posed with her mouth half open, holding a beer with a suggestive look. Wow, this sure is painful. I'd borrow the poster of Rico. If you don't need anything else, I'll be getting back to work. Yeah, thanks. Sanpei goes back to work. Uh, yeah. Alright, I've got all the tools. I'll get information about Aya for sure this time. Now, where can we find her? At the agency? The company? When I arrive at the Sagi Children's Theatrical Company, the company members and their guardians have started going home. I wonder if Bits is still here. Bits and Arisa were staying after the practice. Of course they were. You again. This time I'll get the truth from you. Mom, who is he? A stranger we don't know. Please leave. You're interfering with practice. I'll use max mode here. Not in front of the kids. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I want the second to last one. Is that what I wanted? Thank a singer, a singer, no. How did you know? No, it's the second one. The idol, Miss Jorina Haneda. What? Seriously? Okay, it has to be the first one then. Your maiden name. Wait, what? What other option is there? Oh. Okay, I get it. That tricked me. There we go. Pimp girl Rico. Look at her face. What's a pinup girl? Arisa, mommy has th some things to discuss with the stranger. Go way outside. 
Don't go anywhere, just stay out in front. Okay. Anderson leaves the practice studio. Got her face. Okay. We're doing this. Uh, this bitch girl can stand birds, right? I hadn't thought she might have overcome it. If you have something to say, make it quick. Then would you admit to being bitch? Do you have any proof that I'm bitch? It's a fact that you're in that class. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are they all trying so hard to uh, hide it? The proof that bitch was in that class is... We have it in our inventory. Uh, keep going. There we go. And your name was on the roster. I had four eyes show me your high school class roster. That guy. I feel like they're all like keeping a secret together. The name Riko Hanada with Haneda was there, plain as day. Oh, sorry. I made a name, so what? Riko Hanada. Haneda was the hottest girl in your high school, wasn't she? Well, it's true, if I do say my so myself. Totally just messed up there. Uh, she wanted to become an actress, and after graduating from high school, she joined a talent agency. But I'm not an actress or anything, so please stop with your nonsense. What bitch did first in show business was... Oh shit. Was it the Yanka singer thing? There. Damn, too early. Okay. Um. Turina Haneda. Is that it? There we go. They first tried becoming a pop star, didn't you? Oh. Their first stage name was Jarina Haneda. Where'd you get a hold of something like that? There's a fanboy I know. <laughs> oh. Sorry, a hardcore fan. Fine. Ugh. Could you please autograph that? The owner asked me. Autograph? Me? Well, I sure can't, well, I sure can't sign it. Wow, it's been years since I've done this. Uh, bitch seems to be in a good mood as she signs a photo. I was quite popular back then. Popular? Hmm, something's not right. If you're so popular... That can't be. Janina Haneda didn't become famous. So, she rebranded herself as Riko Mizaki and became an Inca singer. I, I don't know what that is. Maybe like a traditional, like folk songs? The CD is of proof. You want me to sign it? Nah, it's okay. And finally, as Riko, she posed in a swimsuit for a poster for Magatama beer. Alright, we got her. Uh oh, yeah, yeah, we got her. Wow, that's a very revealing outfit, and this is that poster. <laughs> I beg you, please don't take that out. Not in front of the kids. Then you'll tell me the truth, huh? What do you want to ask me? You're a bitch, right? If you don't talk, I'll take this poster to Arisa and... Are you threatening me? I don't want to, but if you don't talk, I just might. If you're gonna be that stubborn, I should've gotten a hold of that magazine too. I've never been in a magazine. A photographer approached you at the Kiyomise shopping area. 
And your picture was in Teen Queens. Teen's Queen, right? What? Is that how much you want to insult me? What are you mad about? Your photo was in a magazine that high school girls love. I wasn't in it. Uh, sorry, I didn't know. That's it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Bit seals her lips like a clam. I'll apologize with Max Mode here. Alright. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, let's check the last one. That's probably not it. It's the third one. These are kind of hard. Uh, that your photo didn't make it is definitely messed up. You think so? Definitely. A good looking girl like you not making the magazine? There definitely must have been something else going on. That may be, but I wasn't able to make it as an actress. Maybe you're too cute and someone got jealous. That beauty and sexiness ended up backfiring. Stop lying. No, no, I'm serious. Even I can tell whether you're, uh, being serious or if it's just flattery. You're also a terrible actor. I'll apologize with Max Mode. That was my fault. Nope. Pardon me? Nope. Excuse me? Oh my god. So it's just the first one? These are hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> Seriously? Well, it made me happy. A little. I know myself best. In school, I was cute enough to be fond of her, but it wasn't enough to become an actress. And now she's depressed. How can I cheer her up? Um... Not with that. How do I cheer her up? Think. I'll let her be, uh, know about the fan she had. Fans, fans. This? Oh, you work cute, and that's a fact. They're selling photos of you like this, and you even have fans who want your autograph. I wasn't number one. There's a hidden number one in the same class. Aya? No, there's no way. You wouldn't understand. I don't know. A classmate of yours wrote this letter. I take the letter out and hand it to her. Alright, that's over. What could possibly be written in that? See for yourself. Bitch reluctantly, reluctantly takes the letter and starts reading. Okay, we're gonna read through this again. Hello, 
ディーンズクイーンのカメラマンだったんです東京だとよくあるのかもしれませんが末裔では珍しいことなんですディーンズクイーンにビッチの写真が載るかもしれません彼女はすごく可愛くてすごくおしゃべりです卒業したら女優になるとビッチは言ってました将来アカデミー賞をもらったりしてそんなの無理だよと笑われるかもしれませんがでも私たちには無限の可能性があるんですこの先夢のような未来が待っているかもしれませんそう考えると心が躍ります今日は私の方がマックスですね実は私も写真を撮ってもらいましたプロのカメラマンに撮ってもらって感激でした学校一の美人でおしゃべりで女子最強のビッチですが子供の頃カラスに頭をつつかれた苦い経験があって鳥が大の苦手のようですぬいぐるみの鳥でも触れないようです誰でも苦手なものがあるんですねそんなことを思った一日でした海のあや PS マックス君が人生で大切にしているものは何ですか Alright Okay So this is the rest of the letter that we skipped last time accidentally Uh, it looks like they took photos of Aya too, so maybe Aya was in the magazine. Bitch finally re. <laughs> I crack up every time I have to say that. Bitch finishes、uh, reading Aya's letter. The harshness leaves Bitch, and her face has become kind. Uh, she said, I'm so cute that I was the prettiest girl in school. Those were her sincere feelings. I'm a clown. Huh? I remember that day we went shopping at the Kiyomise shopping area, shopping center. You're a bitch, right? I have a feeling she might have been secretly jealous. Yes, I'm a bitch. This is awful. It's awful that they、uh, nicknamed her bitch. I thought my photo would be in Teen's Queen. So I let everyone know, not just at school, but in my neighborhood. I even said I would move to Tokyo and become an actress. But your photo wasn't in it? 
Not my photo. It was her photo. Bitch returns the letter to me. So who is she? Why won't anyone answer me? Uh, she might be trying to decide whether or not to tell me. What should I do? Is Arisa... Never mind about Arisa. Yeah, this isn't about her. Okay. If this is how it's going to be, we'll, we'll just have a battle of patience. I've got time on my side. I wait patiently. It started out as a kind deed. Uh, we felt bad for that old lady, so we said we'd all help out. But somewhere along the line, it started to go wrong. What? She kept changing, like she was trying to become Aya Fumino. Someone was pretending to be Aya? Who? It's Nishino's fault, treating her coldly, despite being her bestie. Bestie is called Nishino, huh? Why do we have to suffer for something that happened 15 years ago? Bitch looks distressed. But I can't get caught up in sympathy right now. I show her the picture. Who is my pen pal? If you want to know that badly, I'll tell you. Your pen pal was Aya Fumino, finally! Don't lie. You just said she was acting the part. Someone was pretending to be Aya, right? No, that was Aya Fumino. Like, uh, in the Iwami region's legend, the princess of Himegamori Forest, the dead Aya come back. Ghosts and UFOs, and now legends. Oh, come on. Arisa comes over. Mom, are you done yet? Sorry, come on, let's go home. Hey! I have nothing more to say. I don't want to see you ever again. Bitch takes Arisa and leaves. Bitch said it wasn't her photo that they printed in the magazine. It was Aya's. If I get in touch with the publishing company, they might be able to sell me about the back issue. I look up the company and call them. I call the company and order the issue of Teen Queen, Teen's Queen from 15 years ago. So that's something I'm gonna wind up owning, I guess. All oh, right, I should go return these. I head for the UFO research lab and Kamiyari on. Okay. Morita was really happy when I handed him the autographed photo. Alright, I gave back the stuff I borrowed now. Back to the inn, I guess. I came back to the inn. Haruka comes over. Welcome back. Did you find the person you're looking for? Still no luck. It seems her classmates have a secret. That's the case. They might tell you. Why do you say that? Secrets are like burdens. The longer you hold on to them, the heavier they get. You want to tell someone and lighten the load. You think so? When I return, I find that my room has been broken into. What? 
What the? My belongings are next to the table. It doesn't look like anything was stolen. Who did this? I'm pissed off now. If this is how it's going to be, I'm going to get to the bottom of this mystery no matter what. What are they looking for? The letter I have? Uh, check. Okay. Uh, I think... So mad, I think I'll go get a drink. Alright. Oh. We're gonna head to, uh, Nakamoto Bar. When I get to the Nakamoto Bar, the bartending bartenders arguing with a young couple up front. We're done for today. Go home. The bartender puts the close sign on the door and goes back inside. What happened? What do you think of the bar? Out of nowhere, he looked like he saw a ghost, and then he kicked the customers out, no explanation. What? I've been there. What the heck happened? The bartender was acting weird? What happened? When I said my name was Aya, he turned pale and told us to leave. Aya? The bartender reacted to that name? That's so weird, it's just a name. Okay. Peering into the shop, I see the bartender at the counter, cradling his head. Looks like something's going on. The couple leaves. I step into the bar. I ignore the clothes sign and step inside the bar. We're done for today. Come on, just one drink. You of all people, please leave. Get out of Matsue. Don't be so cold. Hey. I told you to get out. I better leave him alone for now. Uh... What can we do? I feel like something's changed. Oh, okay. Small cast of alcohol. There's a coaster on the counter. Someone has jotted down 153501. I pick up the coaster. Fine, don't get mad. I take the coaster that says 153501 with me. Okay. I guess that's important somehow. I leave the bar. The bartender is acting weird. I took the coaster without asking though. It might come in handy. Well, I'll start heading back to my room. Alright. That's so weird. I came back to the Matsui Inn. When I return to my room, Haruka comes by with her younger cousin, Yuki Hara. Uh, sir, you said you were looking for Aya Fumino, right? Yuki was in the same grade as her in high school. I never thought I'd hear her name again. It's been so long. I wonder if the Aya Fumino she's talking about is a different person from my pen pal. Okay. Oh, the photo? Is this Aya? I show her the photo I received of my pen pal. Yes, that's Aya Fumino. Are you sure? 
I heard there's someone looking for Aya, so I brought a photo of her. Yuki shows me a photo of Aya from 25 years ago. It shows Aya and her parents, Naoki and Yoko Fumino, standing next to a western-style building. It's the same girl as in the photo I received, so both were of the late Aya Fumino. Uh, her father? Okay. Is there anyone who knows her father's address? Nobody knows. Uh, what kind of person was, was Aya? The phrase fair face and figure suited her perfectly. On top of it, she was good at every kind of sport, and she had artistic talent as well. She was good at art, and I remember her winning a prize in a contest. Did anything strange happen after she died? What? There'd be an extra person when taking a headcount at events like field trips, or a shadowy figure in group photos. All kinds of rumors like that. Maybe even that rumor. Ghost stories. I heard that Aya takes classmates to the afterlife, but... That's a downright cliche uh, school ghost story. Don't pay it any mind. But I do mind. Was there anything about a pen pal being created for the deceased Aya? I've never heard of that story, but it sounds like another of those ghost stories you get at schools. Fifteen years ago, someone saw a figure that looked like Aya at the uh, Fumino residence. That's strange. I had never heard the Fuminos having any other children. There's also a rumor of a ghost, a young girl that haunts the empty lot. But if a ghost were to haunt that place, uh, it'd be Aya's mother. If so, it wouldn't be a young girl. Sanpei was saying it was a woman in her late 20s. Well, probably because the classic ghost is a young woman with long hair. Yeah. There's a legend about a dead person coming back to life. I think it was called the Princef, uh, Princess of Himegamori Forest. We've heard that. How does that story go? I can't remember, but if you go to the Lafcadio Hearn Memorial Museum, that's a mouthful, you should be able to find out. It's getting late. We should be going now. Haruka and Yuki leave. It has been a long day. Time to go to bed, but first I should write down my findings in my notebook. Okay. Kosuke, Tanaka, Four Eyes, Watanabe, Monkey, Bitch, Sasaki, Omori, who's fatty, Bestie, maybe Misaki? Notsu, Snappy and Shorty. Alright, I couldn't find Aya today either, but I found out a little bit about what happened. Maybe tomorrow I'll finally find her. We finished the chapter. Chapter 6, Ginger Stationery. It's been six days since I came to Matsue. Looks like whoever was writing to me was pretending to be Aya Fumina. She tricked me, but somehow I don't hold a grudge. Even if the name wasn't real, I think the rest of it was the truth. Before I leave, I should read another letter. Okay, pull out a letter from my bag. Uh, uh, this is the sixth letter. It's postmarked on October 17th. The stationary pattern is ginger, I guess. Okay. Before we read that letter, 
I'm gonna end the episode here. So, uh, thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.